Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a revolutionary new feature in iOS 18, eye tracking. Imagine controlling your iPhone entirely with your eyes. No more tapping, no more swiping, just the power of your gaze. This might sound like science fiction, but with iOS 18, it's becoming a reality. So if you want to know what is this new feature and how to use it, be with me and follow the video. Now to turn on and use eye tracking, go to settings, swipe down and tap on accessibility. Swipe down again. In the physical and motor section, you can find the eye tracking which is here. Just tap on the uh, eye tracking field and we will go to the next page. Now here you have an option to turn on eye tracking. Just tap on it. Now you will go through a quick calibration process. Just follow the dots with your eyes. As you can see guys, this is a quick calibration process. Just be patient and follow the dots with your eyes. It will be down soon guys. Maybe it will take about 10 minutes. Just be patient and wait. Now you're ready to explore the possibility. Here we have a, a four option to control your eye tracking and I will tell you what are them. First up, we can control how smooth the little dot on the screen, I mean your eye pointer moves. Think of it like adjusting the strings on a bike. Higher smoothness makes the dot move nice and steady, but it might feel a little slow to catch up where you are looking. Lower smoothness makes it react faster, but it might wobble a bit. Next, we have a feature called a snap to item. Imagine your eye pointer is a tiny magnet. When you look near a button or something you can tap on, a snap to item pulls the dot right onto it, making it easier to select things. Next, auto hide is like turning off the lights when you leave a room. After you haven't looked anywhere for a while, the dot disappears to save a screen space. It will pop back up as soon as you start looking around again. And finally, there is a dual control. Think of this like magic eye tricks. Look at something for a short count, like holding your breeze for seconds, and it gets selected or activated. You can adjust this look time in another setting so it's not too short or too long for you. Now in the next part, I will show you how it works and without tapping and without swiping. Now as you can see guys, I can move between my applications uh, by my eye control and just the app you need to open it, uh, just focus on it. For example, I will focus on my clocks and you will see after a seconds it will open. And again with my eyes, as you can see, I can select the option on the apps. Just actually move your uh, eyes and you can control everything on your screen, which is funny and great. Of course, my friends, this feature does not work fully and stably yet, and it has many bugs uh, that will be improved in the future, and you will not see these kind of bugs on the alpha version, of course. Now, let me show you another exam. For example, I wanna uh, actually choose and open up App Store. Just focus on it, and it will be open just without any tapping guys as you can see which is so great and you can move between the options on your phone which is so great actually eye tracking is a game changer for accessibility people with limited mobility or dexterity can now use their phones independently eye tracking in ios 18 is a glimpse into the future of mobile interaction it's powerful it's accessible and it's downright cool. So give it a try and see how you can control your iPhone with just the power of your eyes. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. And let us know in the comments what you think about eye tracking.
So see you soon with next one.